Small Axe has been 10 years in the making. 10 years in the making? When has it been 10 years? It's been 10 years since we first met and spoke about it, during which you've made three films. <laughs> 2010. <laughs> Action. These stories are timeless. It's like going back to your grandmother's house and those smells and everything sort of comes rushing back in. Hey, Frank! Oh. <laughs> What's up, it's not just about the past, it's very much about the present, but it's also how we got here. It's them and we. If you lose these histories, you won't have an understanding of where we are now and how much we've achieved. You see, the thing about the black man is he's got his place. If he oversteps, he's going to be gently nudged back in. Frank Critchlow is a man who came to England in the 50s to set up a restaurant, the Mangrove, where um, a lot of the black community went because they felt safe. <laughs> and he became subject to harassment by the police and was forced into becoming an activist. The system rig is rotten! All he was trying to do was run a, a West Indian restaurant, but of course, uh, the police and the authorities chased the people away. This became untenable, and there was a march. Hands up, black people! A march against the local police force in Notting Hill in 1970. Very much like Black Lives Matter. It became an affray. Him and eight of his friends were arrested and they had to go through a 56-day trial. We need justice. We need to defend ourselves against Paul and his rivers of blood and nonsense. Althea Jones, she is one of the members of the Black Panther movement in the UK. She holds everybody together. Together, we become stronger in terms of liberation and fighting for the rights of her people. Black Dimension is going to focus on the community and the police state in West London. I like the sound of that. Dark as how was a West Indian man. He was a revolutionary. He loved to speak. Brothers and sisters, we must become the shepherds of our own destiny. The script brings about an integrity in keeping with the accuracy historically of what happened. It's more important now to get the truth of the human condition at this time. I think there's a lot of people who are confused, and I think a lot of people need to connect with the real again. Young people in our generation today do not understand the fight and the hard work and the love that's gone into fighting for our rights to housing, our rights to education, our human rights to be respected. Young audiences will connect with that because they will see people with a really strong sense of purpose. And purpose is what everybody needs right now. Today we are saying enough is enough! These stories have made who I am as a human being. What made me, the reason why I'm sitting here talking to you right now. I'm very grateful and I owe a lot to the people in these stories. Look at this, this is what it's like working on a studio.